September is just days away and that means back to school, work and routine. But Dr. Malcolm Sears, asthma expert, says September is notorious for an increase in the frequency of asthma attacks. What we see every year is a very predictable increase in asthma, particularly in children and younger adults, uh, beginning end of August and going right through uh, September with a peak about the third week of September, increasing asthma symptoms, increasing hospital admissions, increasing emergency room visits. When we began looking at this, we had a number of ideas of why it would happen, but as the studies have been done, it seems very likely that the major trigger to this is viral infection. We know that there is also an increase in the amount of allergen in the atmosphere, ragweed and other allergies that uh, people suffer. Plus there's the going back to work, back to school, the stress it may also impact on this. Affecting approximately 3 million people, Canada has one of the highest rates of asthma in the world. Trish Turvet has learned the steps she needs to take to avoid feeling the impact of the September peak. What makes managing my asthma easier is taking the medicine that my doctor prescribed regularly, even if I'm feeling well. It does a lot to keep things under control for me. This time of year when I'm back to school in September, the pollens are flying around, I do find that things can act up more for me. So I do my best to keep track of what pollens are going on and try not to expose myself too much to my triggers. Many Canadians reduce their asthma medications when they're feeling well, but a gap in your asthma management can lead to a decrease in asthma control that becomes problematic when exposed to triggers later on, especially in the fall for both children and adults. One of the things we've learned from our studies is that many patients ease back on their treatment over the summer months because it is the summer, they feel well, they're on vacation, or they may decide to take a treatment holiday. And we found that many of the children, especially coming back into the school season when they flare up with their asthma, are not on adequate treatment. So how to prevent this? Use treatment even when you're well and be on regular treatment before coming into the September season. One of the misconceptions about asthma is that it's there when you have symptoms and when you don't have symptoms it's gone. Whereas in fact we know asthma is a chronic disease with inflammation that's persistent. And so keeping it under control with regular treatment is really much better than waiting until symptoms occur and then chasing symptoms. Treatment should be taken regularly to prevent rather than to wait until symptoms dictate the need for treatment. Preventing an asthma attack during the September peak and any time of year means proper management of the disease is required. Asthma treatment, particularly taking medications as prescribed, has to be part of a daily routine, just like brushing your teeth. For more information on asthma and its treatment options, speak with your family doctor or visit the Asthma Society of Canada at asthma.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.